what's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Code Geass season 2 episode 14 um I'm not gonna make the intro too long so last time pretty much Rollo was a piece of shit killed Shirley because he's very possessive of Lelouch and yeah that just broke my freaking heart saw it coming I even like watched back my um video like when I was editing I was like I literally called her death like two times before it actually happened and then right before it happened I said it again so three times before it actually happened I was like once I said it like jokingly like oh you'll never love him more than me bang 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 like that was one of them and then earlier I'm like oh is Lelouch gonna have to kill her if she like finds out too much no nah, he wouldn't like just predicting her death just oh I don't know I, that was eerie I'm like why did I say that so many times like am I psychic no, I'm just kidding, but I'm just like, damn, dude, I was on my shit that day. Um, there were a couple other things I called that freaking episode, too. I don't remember what they were. Something to do with Lelouch. Something he did, I can't remember, but... Anyways, um... And when I watched it back, I did see YouTube people... You probably saw a little bit of it, but for... Patreon, it lagged for like two and a half, three minutes straight, so I'm trying not to make intros too long, because, you know... I feel like the longer I make this, the harder I'm making it work, blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyways, so, yeah just until I can get a new one um but that's probably what we're gonna pick up I don't know if it's gonna take him a few episodes to figure out that Rolo did it because she never actually told him oh and I did realize what you guys said about he asked her again after she was already asked so don't know what's up with that um I don't know if it only worked because like all the previous geasses were erased from her so it's kind of like she's a blank slate or if that doesn't matter I don't know but anyways we know it didn't stick because she was dying, it was too late, but maybe it would have if she wasn't, like, bleeding out. But, um, yeah, so he can geass people more than once, maybe only under special circumstances, like high stress, maybe, I don't know, but, yeah. And maybe only if they were, like, already had all their geasses erased, who knows. We don't know, we gotta figure it out. But then, yeah, so we're picking up there, and I don't know, like I said, I can't really predict if it's gonna be, like, later in the season he figures it out, like, towards the end that Rolo did this, or if he's gonna figure it out really soon. So yeah, anyways, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video, and if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, let's jump into the reaction, guys. <gasps> That's his mom, right? Oh, she knew. You knew? Her when she was alive? Yes, big brother, all people are liars. And this vast nation we call Britannia never changes. But maybe just Whoa. But it's just human nature, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Perhaps you're right about that. Charles, you won't forget, will you? Our contract? I know. To kill God and smash this world of lies. What are you talking about? What what do you mean this world of lies? Like what are you referring to? She had a gun and she was coming after you, you lying little fucking whore. I hate you. <laughs> I was your biggest advocate. I felt bad for you when you do something like this. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's like a slap to my face, bro. <sighs> Anyways, so that's a lot to... I wonder if, like... Like, why did C2, like, associate with her? So, the king knows who she is. Vivi knows who she is. Like, C2, I mean. Mmm. What is the relationship between them all, though? Like... Did she give the mama geass? I wonder. Well, I guess we'll find out. She was coming after you. I see. So you were the one who killed her. <laughs> oh, okay, he outs himself. Oh you. shit! Yes. What, big brother? I will fucking kill you. I will fucking kill you. Kill yourself. You it very well. <gasps> if it weren't for you. Oh, Lelouch! I have to give him. Secret. Oh my god! I have to give him and such kudos for that. That act he's putting on right now. Oh my so, god, he needs he needs an Oscar right now. now? Who's there? Oh, if we god. keep avoiding this, we'll never win. Remember, this is for our happiness, for both of us. Lelouch. Right. right after seeing her die, he pulls himself together like this. Oh my god. Vivi's begun his Ooh, look at him, he's trying not to cry. <laughs> oh, he needs a terrible death, I'm sorry. But at the same time I feel bad for him because it's like some they, they manipulated him. <clears throat> Are you going to kill me? Or control if he didn't grow up the way he did, he might not have ended up you might not have ended up like this. Surely. You're saying that she shot herself? 
Yes, apparently on him. Yeah, no, that's fucking bullshit. What reason would she have to kill herself? Like, come up with a reason. Please tell me what. No, you're right. She didn't. I fucking hate Rolo. Oof. Ooh, this music. <laughs> Remember, I liked this. I rewound that fucking scene. Remember when she was on the bed eating pizza? Dun, 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 dun. I'm recording. Fuck you and your contract. Who are you talking to, his mom? Wipe it out? Weren't you going to use it? They're not a military group. They just do research into Gia. We'll crush them! Okay. Her death affected him. Mmm. She doesn't know. She was killed by Gios. Mm -mm. So, going to wipe out the order? so what, you don't blame Rolo? He fucking did it! You said Gios is the power of the king. There can be only one king, so I alone shall have Okay. I will erase Rolo. I'll erase Gios from all the others. It's power to make people sinful will be obliterated Ooh. from this world. Like the death note. The Shirley, That's the, the e real evil, right? Area 11. Looks like he's inside Ashford. I'm sure I need no introduction at this point. <laughs> so I'll just start with direct questions. Well, you're outing you yourself as like zero again. Battle for Tokyo. Also, I guess they already knew probably. And I and the others on Kamine Island to observe us. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> but the fact that you're asking these questions means you've regained all of your lost memories. Mm -hmm. That's right. I am zero. Then say to the Are they going to free Cornelia? So that's how it is. That's right. I'm glad you gave Man, me what's he gonna say when he sees her there? Just had to let down your guard for a moment. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty good. I was like, oh, maybe Lelouch is still there. Oh, crap. The one who shall render judgment here is me. I love that little setup! That was sick! I love that shit! How smart is this guy? Never underestimate him. Oh, people are getting bodied. Oh! Oh my goodness. At all. They don't even seem to have weapons. This is the or did he lie about but, sir, Did he lie about who they're fighting? With traitors in the Chinese Federation. This lab is developing immortal warriors oh, okay. whose purpose is to destroy us. I won't let them violate the sanctity of life. The researchers and their data mm. are to be wiped out. The sanctity we of life. The of the immortality research are hidden. Therefore, Does it make them a monster the just because they're immortal? Director C2, you come back to us. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> my god, that was funny. Oh, I'm sorry, that's so fucked up. <laughs> Please save us, C2. Bang! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's, I shouldn't be laughing, but there was just like, they just asked if he saved me. They skipped blowing up right after. They're old men. Please save us, C2. And I shouldn't be laughing. That just. <sighs> that's fucked up. I shouldn't laugh. But, um, anyways, that was funny. So. I don't even know what I was going to say. Shit, I had something to say. But yeah, that whole debate of like, you need to get rid of all this research, this whole ass. I get it. They're making warriors who are, they, they do corrupt their minds and make them assassins and evil. I'm not saying that they don't. But, I gotta protect the sanctity of what, like, I don't know. Just, I don't want Lelouch to assume me, you know, like, just because they're going to get, just because people are receiving powers, it doesn't make them evil. It's kind of like, it's nature and nurture. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like, Rolo is not completely evil, he's just- they twisted his mind. He has no really- I don't think he has, like, any real concept of, like, family or love. It's just- it's kind of corrupted by them. I feel bad for him. At the same time, I'm pissed at him for what he did. But like I said, I do- I do have- I do recognize that I do need to sympathize a little bit. Because it's not entirely his fault that he turned out this way. It's not like he had a free life, like, to make decisions that formed who he was. I mean- He's pretty limited on what he could do, I'm assuming. I mean, he seems like he's a soldier. They're not just going to go let him do whatever the fuck he wants. In research facilities. He's kept the location and mission secret. Dude, it's like he, they don't even know what it really is. Now that the Saudis have been subject, why not? He must ratify the United States charter as quickly as possible. Hey guys, it's like that one method he's doing. Only certain people know certain things so that no one knows everything. Why is he hiding things from them, though? Secrecy around his activities and his very existence. Well, yeah. Then I want you to go after Deputy Commander. Well, Alucia. 
That's another thing. It's like, why are you outing yourself like that you have your memories back? That was just dumb, especially to someone like V2. It's not like you can kill him. He's gonna go tell his dad. He said Ogi's been hiding something from them. Mmm, Deputy Commander's Ogi. Ooh. Damn, Ogi, is he really? Dude, see the kids, like, oh, no. Oh, yep, they all got DS. I wonder what theirs are. What? They're controlling his body. <gasps> oh, your brain controls and tells your body what to do, so. <sighs> that, are they all doing it? Together? Ooh, V2's in there. Or no, uh, fucking, I don't know why I said that, Rolo. Yeah. Guys, how have you been? <laughs> I'm gonna freeze you and kill you, though. Oh, God. Did he kill them? I have That's so monumentally like, fucked, Rolo. My brother, I'm all right. Hey, how you been? <laughs> like, what? But now I know who he is, and I know that by serving him, I am serving my lady Marion. Damn. You dare speak her name to me? Why do you hate her so much? What is your problem? Were they threatened by her? What did she do to anger them so much? I'm not able to use my kiosk to do time stops on V2. Doesn't work, yeah. This doesn't work on C2 either. Okay, I'll do my best. Damn. Can't kill him today. Oh, you are such no way. Is it really gonna work? I just don't think he's gonna kill him off this soon. There's just no way. You know that your heart stops every time you use your key off. Mm -hmm. That means you're defective. You could conk out it. <laughs> Are you serious? Not yet. If I eject them, oh, I've done it, big brother. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. You gotta make the bomb explode, Lelouch. If you're gonna do it, do it now. Now it's time for goodbye. No, too late. Who could know the Siegfried's only weak point? Who is that? C2? No. Cornelia? <laughs> so your name is for what you did to Yuffie. Mm. The source of Gios. Lelouch is not the source, but V2? Yeah. How? How the fuck is he an abomination? Please explain it to me. I don't I don't understand. There's something weird with his mom's bloodline, or did she get a Gias power? Like, is Lelouch special? Like, I don't know. It kind of seems like they're trying to say that. Oh shit! Bang! Lady C two. Hmm. I really didn't think they were gonna take out this place so easily. Nothing is off limits. Not anymore. What the fuck is that? Oh hell no! You better not inject her with that. Don't fucking do that shit. I'll inject you with this if you don't tell me the truth. You want to be like your mom? Ooh, he better not. Ooh, what the fuck? This door is opening. I'm glad you came after all. Charles, your most splendid relationship what? is that of loyal siblings. Those two. Uh, but I've also learned something. That Lelouch is zero. Again. He even tricked Nonale. You lied to me once again, big brother. How did he lie? What do you mean? Oh, what the hell is this? Damn it. This is what happened on Kamina Island. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What images are you going to see now? What? Maybe just your mind. Especially in the face of this system. The sword of a This is a system floating in the sky. Lelouch, my son. The time has this is come so again. weird. The time for final redemption. I can't believe this is happening so soon. What the fuck is going on here? This is so fast. Everything's happening so fast. What the shit? I can't. I'm speechless. Alright, let me look at this shit. Okay. Uh, have you turned to the point where you began? Okay. Mm, this is too far. Um... This is, like, what the- I'm so confused. So much shit happened. Like, I feel like I need to watch this over again and then do my review, honestly. I might do that. And, like, take notes or whatever. 
You lied to me once again, big brother. How did he lie? Like, what did he lie about? I don't understand that. What did he lie to you about? <laughs> did he lie about... I gotta, I gotta watch the scene again to know what he lied about. Sending... Did you send assassins after Lelouch? Jeremiah, I'm assuming the assassin. Yes, and now because of that, he sent his assassins after me. And then he said, you lied. What did he lie about? That he'd be able to take out Lelouch? I don't understand what he lied about. I really don't get it. What did he lie about? What did he lie about? Guys, am I missing something? Am I, can, am I supposed to not know what he's talking about? Did he lie about, like, Lelouch being some type of chosen one? Oh, Lelouch is not special. Or What did he lie about? Because it really seems like they're trying to say Lelouch is special because his mom is special. It seems because, like... V2 hates her, so you hate her for a reason. The only thing I could think of is she's got some special power you don't want her to have. And then you also go on to say later in the episode, you're an abomination, Lelouch. You're the abomination. You're the problem or something like that. How so? Because he's like the god leading like men to fight against each other. Like I don't know what you're referring to, but I'm going to end this here. Not really for you guys, but this recording of this reaction. I'm gonna rewatch this, certain parts probably. Come back. I might call Chris and ask him to clarify some things. No spoilers, of course, just like stuff that I don't understand, and then I'll come back and do a review. Alright? Anyways, uh yeah. Okay guys. I have a lot to say and I did take notes. So but this this thing I wanna say real quick. Real quick. There is this thing that C2 says really okay. This is my personal sin for having neglected you too. She's talking to the guys in um, the order, and she goes, "This is this is the end of like the Gias like lineage." And, she, and then she says, "Perhaps this." Hang on. At last, I shall put an end to the lineage of Gias. So be it. Perhaps this is how Lelouch and I should. Die. Boom, blows up. You don't hear what she's gonna say. They die, like ends the lineage. So is she trying to say that this is how? Lelouch and I should end up as well, dead, be, or, like, erased, gone, so that, like, there are no traces of Gias left in the world, period. And, like, Lelouch literally is kind of becoming kind of like a fucking dictator and paranoid motherfucker because he says, No, I want to get rid of all the Gias, all traces of Gias, and it should, the power should only be left to me. That's what he says. And then it's, uh, he says, where is it at? Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Um, and later, it, okay, so he's all, like, it's like he only, this is the thing, he's paranoid. He only trusts himself with this power, and it's kind of like he only trusts himself to do anything. Because literally, it's starting here. He's paranoid now because of what Rolo did to Shirley. It seemed like Rolo's so loyal, so loyal, and he kills someone who loved him. Mm. Then, on top of that, he's suspicious of Ogi, right? He's showing all that, like, that's another sign of his paranoia. He's, he doesn't trust him. He doesn't trust him. Another sign of his fucking paranoia, he's not telling anyone in the Black Knights, or well, almost no one, what he's actually doing. What he's actually doing here. Oh, it's just some underground Britannian facility. He's not telling him it's a religious order that where they create, like, super soldier Gias users. He's not telling them any of that. Like, he doesn't trust them with this information. The same thing with freaking C2. He says... Besides, I want to see if you're really loyal to me now. Uh, and he, he's saying, um, take out the order that she was a part of. Like, he wants to see if she's actually loyal to him. And the way for her to do that is by taking out this order. And it's like, how has she not proved her loyalty by now, Lelouch? Like, what else does she need to do? You know, it's like, what is going on with you, dude? Ever since that last episode, he doesn't trust anyone. And then Violetta, having Violetta, the person who loves Ogi and who Ogi loves, having her kill the person she loves. It's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. That's so fucked up, dude. He's paranoid all over the fucking place. And it's scary, dude. He doesn't... The fact that he doesn't trust anyone and he wants all the power for himself, like, you're kind of acting like your dad, dude. Like, your dad wants to rule everyone. He doesn't trust anyone else with, like, power or whatever. I don't know. I... Like, literally, um, V2 said that earlier in this episode. He said, oh, you know, you you remind me of your dad, Lelouch. Um, because in the flashback, let me see, let me go back a page. Um, C2, um, she's talking to Marianne, remember, and Charles and V2 are there or whatever. Um, he, it's, hu this is what Charles says. It's human nature to lie. All people are liars. Um, 
And then Lelouch is like, fight. His fight is against human nature itself. Blah, blah, blah. So, pretty much, Charles hates liars. He hates that people lie. I don't know if he's saying, like, like Chris said, like, they lie to themselves. But I don't know if that's what it is or if it's, like, something else. Like, when he, what does he mean, like, he doesn't like that people lie to themselves and they, they don't see the truth of things? What are they not seeing the truth of? What are they not? Are they not seeing the fact that, like, people are not equal? Or are they not seeing the fact that, like you're fighting again like what are they what are they not seeing what are, how are they liars i thought maybe he just meant like liars as in like they lie about like the day-to-day -day shit like they just so easily lie like i don't know but he said something um i can't remember what it, okay yeah so, so lelouch reminds him of charles i don't know what lelouch did to make v2 say he reminds him of charles but i'm i can kind of see it now like his dad, his dad said something like, he wants to like, oh, their contract is to kill God and smash this world of lies. So they kind of want to like tear down this world and make it anew, right? Right? Lelouch wants to do that with how this world is now. He wants to tear it all down, this whole fucked up world where like the weak are not like equal with, you know, the rest of the world. And you know what I mean? Like he wants to make a world where the weak are like on an equal playing field and all that shit, right? He doesn't like the world the way it is now. His dad didn't like the, w the world the way it was and wanted to make it better. Lelouch wants to make it better. So I can see how V2 thinks that they're alike and he can see the similarities there. He does remind him of Charles. Okay, and I, like, I, I agree with that. And I it scared me when he said that because I'm like, I don't know if that's a good thing. This whole paranoia thing. Like, you only want the power for yourself. It kind of seems like a dictator where you're so paranoid all the time that means you're just going to start killing people. No, I can't trust you. No, no, he was going to do this to me. He was going to do that. He was plotting this. She was plotting that. And maybe they weren't. Maybe they weren't. You know what I mean? Like, that's just not a good place to be, my friend. But anyways, let me go back to the beginning of my nose. It kind of started at the end. Um, Rolo's defective. His heart stops every time he uses his guillots. Yes. So he's defective. And that was kind of funny. He's like, oh, you could conk out at any time. V2 said that. I was like, damn. He's defective, so I wonder if he was treated like shit when he was in that order. So that probably didn't help. And then something fucked up Rolo did as well. He literally, um... Hey guys, nice to see you again. <laughs> Kills them. Like, holy shit, bro. You just killed all your friends. Oh, nice to see you. They mean nothing to me anymore. How easily people mean nothing to you. How easily replaceable they were. Because Lelouch actually, like, loves you. Not really, though. Just used you. Which is... By the way relating to that the fact that lelouch was able to just like i said he deserves an oscar nomination or he just deserves it period because he literally t put his fake face on so quick he really didn't have that much time to grieve over shirley here's him here's rollo admit i killed the girl who loved you and who you probably loved holy fuck how do you not wring them motherfuckers neck i get it though it's because you want to use him and you probably wouldn't have been able to kill him at that moment in time anyways. It just probably wouldn't have gone well. And if you tried to kill him when you're not prepared, you would have ended up dead. And that would not work out well. Um, but anyways. But I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, it, it's, it's impressive. What other person do you, like, other than, you know, anime characters. But just like, any normal person in the world, like any other person. How the fuck do you do that? How the fuck? I know I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm a very emotional person. I could see light being able to do that shit. But, mm -mm. It's kind of like, it was weird though. Because it's like, he so easily did that. But then the rest of this episode, he was acting like a paranoid, I don't know. Like, it just, it's, I don't like the fact that he's acting so paranoid. This is not good for anybody, bro. This is gonna fuck all your shit up. Like I said, I don't know how else C2 could have proved her freaking loyalty by now. She's been with you through everything. How has she not proved it yet? Is this all this shit, like, is a culmination? Is just all of this on top of another? Like, the Rolo thing, the Ogi thing, this, this order, like, it's just, it's too much at once. It's just, he can't. Anyways. Um, I talked about the human nature is to lie, blah, blah, blah. You want to, like, cleanse the world and shit. Um, C2, I don't know, okay, so, um, I don't know what, where V2 said it, but he says something about Marianne, like, your mother was, I don't know what he said, dude, I, I want to find it, he said something about, 
Marianne and uh, Britannia has been colluding with trade. Okay, so oh, that's something I want to say too. I don't want to forget about that. I'll say it right now before I forget, and then I'll go back to the Marianne thing. But the fact that see Britannia's been colluding with traitors. Mm, he lied about something there, but um, uh, kind of like he's just he's not giving the full truth. So he's withholding a little bit. Anyways, what he's but that one guy we saw. Ooh, do we really have to kill kids? This, so his paranoia on top of him, like, making him kill kids, him not telling them everything, this is going to start to make them question him, question their loyalty to him, and it might make some people, like, defect. Like, they're just going to be like, mm, I'm out, dude, and I can't be part of your shit anymore. It's my bad. So, no, I don't, this is not good. You made them kill kids. They're not down with that. See, this is, this is just going to be a downhill spiral from here. He is just, mm, this is not good. Okay, something like, I, maybe that was it, but, like, Jeremiah saying he was doing this for Lady Marianne, and then V2 going, You dare say her name to me? Like, what's wrong with her? What's your fucking problem with Lady Marianne? I don't know, dude. What is wrong with her? So, you have a problem with his mom, first of all. I don't know what she did. She was associated with C2, so I don't know if they had a contract, and their contract was to get rid of this whole order or whatever, and you didn't like that. I, I really, I don't know. I really don't know. But... Again, he has a problem with her somehow. And then you go and say her son's an abomination. How is her son an abomination? What makes him an abomination? Is it that he has some special power going on? Is it that his power is above all else? Is it is it that, like, she cheated and he's not actually, like, Charles's son? I doubt that. But, like, how is he an abomination? How is he an abomination? He's, like, he's defective somehow, like Rolo? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But, anyways, something happened with Lelouch in the past. Something makes him an abomination. I really want to know what that is. Mm, there was something else I wanted to say. Shit, what was it? Um, oh, that. So, C2. So, another thing with C2 and V2. She said she was just window should like, whatever she said. Like, she was pretty much just, like, eye candy. She was just, like, there, but not really doing much right in the order. C2 never had real power like VV or V2, whatever you want to say. He, okay, never had real power like him. Do you mean in status? Do you mean, it, like, no, I, I doubt it. Actual power. How does he have more power than you? So, like, how do you get more power? You can hand out different levels of power. Like, that's something that can happen. They're not all on the same playing field. I mean, that would be stupid if they all were all the people, like, the immortal people. So we had more power than you. How so? There's just so much, dude. I'm all over the fucking place. But, like, I should do a summary afterwards. But, um, so, yeah, the big things we talked about was his paranoia. Now this other big thing. How does V2 have more power than her? Um, they wanted to cleanse the world and rebuild it. Get rid of this god. Kill god. We still don't know who this god is that they want to kill. Um, like, it cannot be Lelouch. Otherwise, they would have killed him by now. Um... Other thing is, it's like Lelouch says he wants to get rid of this power that, like, makes people do these terrible things, become evil people. Is it the power's fault, or is it the person who's using the power? It's kind of like what people say about guns, like, is it the gun's problem, or people who use the guns? And I'm not trying to make that a debate, but I'm just saying it kind of reminded me of that. So don't fight about that in my comment section, that's not what we're here to do. We're here to talk about anime. But, um... But I'm just saying, like, that's the thing. Like, just because those kids received that power it doesn't make them evil. What if they received the power, but they were brought up and raised by, like, Nunnally or something? You know what I mean? Or, like, you're by your mother. Like, you and your sister didn't turn out evil until, you know, like, bad shit happened to you. But I'm just saying, like, it's nature and nurture. Like, just because you have that power doesn't make you a bad person. C2 doesn't seem like she's evil. You know what I mean? And she has this power. It does have the ability to like corrupt someone power does corrupt but like it's different from person to person not every person who has power is corrupt you know what i mean so i don't know but lelouch really needs to take a hard look in the mirror because he's kind of the one right now that's getting all kind of types of fucked up about this power and shit he's not in an okay place at all rightfully so i understand why i'm not saying he doesn't have a right to be but i'm just saying he is he needs some help this is not good right now. He needs to have some, t like, colonies to talk to him or something. I really don't think the C2 helps very much with that stuff. But whatever. And then she says something about her contract has nothing to do with this order. And, like, want, like, them being preserved. She doesn't give a shit because maybe she wants to get rid of them anyways. Like I said earlier. 
maybe this is what should happen to me and Lelouch, dot, dot, dot. And what just happened? They were exploded. They were killed. So, eradicate all this power. Um, like I said, the Ogi betraying them. I don't know if that's because he's working with China and that's what he, he's suspicious about him doing. Again, I don't know why he thinks that. Why does he think he's suspicious? Why does he think he's working for um China? Yeah, I'll talk about how Marianne might have a contract with C2. I don't know what it was. Maybe her contract had something to do with her son. You know, it seems like he's some type of, like, messiah chosen one or something. Uh, Lelouch's, like, act, blah, blah, blah. Prove your innocence. Oh, Cornelia, for some reason, thinks that V2 is the one who killed, or not killed, controlled Yuffie. I don't know why she thinks that. I really thought that she knew Lelouch did it. I know she knows Lelouch is zero. So I assumed she knew that he's the one who did that to Yuffie. I guess I was wrong. So she's out here, like, helping Lelouch kill him. They both think he's the source of the power of Gias. We're gonna get rid of the source of all this power. You, I mean, Lelouch, you have to know he's not the source of it. Like, even if you didn't, even if you did kill him, C2's still alive and she can give people Gias power. So, clearly, these two are not the, the well, whatever. I don't think they're the source. Someone gave them that power to begin with. I mean, like, if they're both here with the powers and get being someone gave it to him someone gave it to her we don't know who this god is but these two are not the source i mean maybe if you got rid of these two there would be no other people on the planet i don't know how many other people are like them on the planet but if there if you got rid of these two and there was no one else to hand it out and like you didn't see anywhere people popping up with gias and yeah i guess you could say they were the source but if these two are wiped out, and then you see some more people with Gias popping up who didn't have it before, either that means there are more people like them, or there is a god handing out, like, this immortal power, and then those people are, like, the ones who give people the Gias. That's what I'm assuming happens. Um, but I want to know, like, what their powers are. Like, these people who are immortal, like, witches, I guess you would call them. They're not actually witches, but I don't know what they are. But what is their power? Like, I haven't seen them do anything other than come back to life. Like, what can they do? Or can they only hand out powers to people? She does that weird, like, psychic shit. I don't know what that's all about. Like, the whole thing that happens at the end, I will get there. I will skip to there. But I just want to talk about all this shit. So, I don't know when it's going to get cleared up that V2 is not the one who... Hang on. Yeah, it's not on there. I don't know when it's going to clear get going to get cleared up that V2 is not the one who did that to Yuffie. But probably at some point. Yeah, Suzuku and um, Colin do not believe Shirley actually killed herself. Thank God. Um, Marianne is... Or are you just going to stay inside? Stay inside what? What is she inside? Is she actually alive? Or is she a spirit? Like, what do you mean stay inside? It's like either they're having like some type of like telepathic conversation or she's talking to her ghost. Stay inside what? That's not, like a ghost. Stay inside my head? Are you gonna like? What did she say? Like, are you gonna? Hang on, let me go back. What are you planning to do? How long are you gonna stay inside of? I don't know if that's them trying to tell us his mom's alive. I mean, she got hella bullets. Sh like, <laughs> I don't know how to phrase my sentence, but she got shot with a lot of bullets. So I don't know how she would have survived. I don't know if she means her consciousness stay inside of my head. I really don't know what she means, but she could be alive. That's a possibility. Oh my god, that thing Lelouch did. So, when he had that, he was inside that box and, like, tricked him. And then he actually, he was there. Like, oh my god, that was so fucking smart. Oh my god, dude, I loved that shit. It was so impressive. I literally never would have guessed that at all. I can't, he's just so smart, dude. He's so smart. <laughs> I love it. Um, oh, and then he outs himself to V2. Stupid. Now your dad knows. Why would you do that? Well, he could just rewrite, erase his memories again, rewrite them. Not erase them, rewrite them. But, I don't know, like, I don't know why he would do that unless he was sure he was going to be able to kill V2, which clearly didn't happen. But, you were too confident, dude. You were way too confident. Um, did I talk about everything now? Should I just skip to the end? She wants to know more about her brother. Not only does. Um... Yeah, was it really necessary to... So then he gets taken into this, this sort of, uh, Akshata, or... I, I don't know, Ashita, I don't fucking remember what it's called. Let me see. Akasha, that's what it is. 
Nightmares are such inelegant things, especially in the face of this system, the Sword of Ak Akasha. Um, so he created this, I don't know, I shouldn't assume that the dad created this, but maybe he did or had someone make it for him. Maybe like somebody like Lloyd or, um, Brock shot up. Um, but this device somehow is floating freaking thing is the god killer. I don't know why it's called the sword. I mean, I don't see how it's a sword, but maybe it turns into a giant sword or something. Who knows? Transformers. Um, so I'm just looking at his dad. I, I, okay, let me just play what, uh, play what he says so I can talk about it. The time has come at last. The time for final redemption. So, I don't know how you think Lelouch needs to be redeemed, but... Like, why? Why, how do, why does Lelouch need to be redeemed? I don't, I don't get it. I think you need to be redeemed. Do you think your son is, like, a liar? He's fooling himself? He's he's part of the world that needs to be... He's one of the ones that needs to be cleansed, less, like the rest of the world or something? like. And I don't know, like, if the dad... I don't know. Is this whole, like, master race bullshit just part of the dad's act just to get people, like, under him so he could gain power so that he could find all these other temples? Like, I really don't understand any of this shit. But like I said, <sighs> final confrontation for final redemption. If Lelouch has to fight against human nature. I mean, I'm trying to think about now, like, in hindsight, like, what, like, after this episode, what does that really mean? Fighting against, like, lot like humanity like lying to itself or like a bunch of things human nature is not just lying like she said in the beginning like um she said that like a bunch of things in the beginning i'll go back hope and atonement freedom and solitude like d human nature is not just one thing we know that like how do you fight against all these different emotions like that drive people like people are driven by different things not just one thing so how do you fight against all of those different things. Maybe that's what she's saying. How do you unite people all under one cause or one thing? I don't know. I don't know how you fight against all. I, I just, I don't know. Um, summarize. So, like I said. We gotta see what the fuck this sort of uh, Akasha is gonna be. And how the fuck. I, we, we need to know who this god is, first of all. That Charles and V2 want to take down. Who is their enemy? Need to find out what C2 wants Lelouch to do. I want to find out what she was going to say. Like, does she really think all Gias users should be destroyed and killed? That means her and Lelouch. Um, who, like I said, again, I'm going to say this again. Who is the god? Um, we need to, we need to talk about, well, I already did talk about it, but I want to see how this gets resolved. Lelouch's paranoia. That's, this needs to be resolved. He needs to figure this out because this it's just going to be a downward spiral if he doesn't stop with that shit. You can't not you can't go around not trusting your people, dude. That's just not good for anybody. You need to be able to trust who you work with. And if you can't, that's fine. If you can't, then I, I don't want to say it's fine, but it's like if you can't, you probably shouldn't be working with anyone anyways. I don't know. At this point, how have they like they should have you should trust them by now, dude. They've proved their loyalty to you. But you doing this shit, like I said, making them kill kids, mm, that's another no-no. Like, that's just another reason they're gonna, like, start to question you. And then finding out on top of that, when they find out you lied to them about this, it's gonna be another reason for them to not trust you. This, like, just like you're not trusting them, you not trusting them is going to cause them to not trust you. This is not good. Um, how they're alike, I talked about that. I'm talking about, um, Lelouch and his dad wanting to cleanse the world, blah, blah, blah. Colin lying about her, like, not knowing not only was a princess. You should know that because you knew Lelouch was a prince, so, I don't know, I think she lied about that. Suzuku now going after Lelouch because he thinks he did that to Shirley, but he didn't. Um, Lelouch didn't kill Rolo yet, he's gonna, have, I don't know when he's gonna do that. Don't know how he's gonna kill V2, like I said, if they're blown up, can they really come back to life? Mm, I don't know. Um... What else? Summarizing, summarizing. What was his mom's deal with C2? Did they have a contract or not? Why does V2 and... Why do V2 and Charles hate Lady Marianne so much? Why is Lelouch an abomination? Is Violetta really going to be able to kill Ogi? And... Anything else? 
Where the fuck really is Lady Marianne? I think that might be it. And is Lelouch going to become a dictator? Oh, they said Italy and Poland are on their side, too. I did see that. But yeah, I think I'd summarize. I think that's everything. So, yeah. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.